The biggest railway strike in 30 years is underway in the UK. Thousands of workers walked off the job this morning, bringing the country's rail network to a crawl. They are taking action over pay, working conditions and job security. Only about 20% of trains are running. The UK's Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, has called the strike a stunt. He says the government won't get involved in negotiations, claiming that it will only make matters worse and insisting it's down to the unions and their employers to work things out. Last ditch talks with the rail union failed on Monday. Around 50,000 workers are expected to join the industrial action in the coming days. This strike has come about because we found ourselves in this position where we can't afford for our pensions, our terms and conditions, our pay and our numbers to be sacrificed because of any damage to the economy during the pandemic was not caused by us. You know, We worked the same as other people, same as people who worked from home and we just carried on. We, it shouldn't be up to us to pay the price with our conditions in the future. Those Heartland seats have been falling for a number of years. Some members of the opposition Labour Party have joined the strike in places, despite leader Keir Starmer's message to his front bench that they shouldn't take part in the strike action. We can go to Laura Macon Isherwood now, our London correspondent, who is at Hampton Court train station. Laura, what's it like there? Well, it's pretty dead because there are absolutely no trains coming to this station or leaving it today. This is a branch line. It serves a part of southwest London that otherwise is cut off without it in terms of accessing the rail network. And today is one of those days. Normally, it would have multiple trains per hour taking it towards the main lines into London. Today, there is no option. There is a sign outside the station warning people of these strikes taking place. The ticket machines are dead. The only person in there is the man that runs the coffee shop and he's telling me it's a pretty relaxed day very quiet but of course this means that everybody that lives here is having to find an alternative route to work an alternative route perhaps to school if those students that live here are sitting exams at the moment it doesn't seem too busy on the roads and many people have a lot more flexibility now because they have a tried and tested working from home method that had been used during the covid 19 pandemic so a lot of people obviously making uh, adaptions to their daily routines as this strike continues today. OK, Laura, and the government is saying that the rail industry modernise and reform. What changes is the government actually pushing for? Yeah, they're talking about modernising and reforming because, of course, they are claiming that the systems that are in place are frankly Victorian, in the words of National Rail. They want to get rid of things like ticket offices in stations, saying that people simply don't use them enough to warrant those staff being in place during the daytimes, that actually using automated ticket machines should be enough, or perhaps booking tickets online as well. Now, the argument from the Rail and Maritime uh, Union is that that means that there will often be stations that are unstaffed, that actually that cut in the number of people operating the platforms and the trains overall will mean a reduction in safety. They're also, of course, arguing that they don't have enough pay. They want a rise of around 7% in order to keep in line with the inflation rates in the UK and, of course, that increasing cost of living crisis that we are moving into heading into the winter. The government, though, says that this is a stunt. The Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, uh, saying that it was reckless vandalism, which is quite a claim. The Marit uh, uh, sorry, Rail and Maritime uh, Union boss, Mike Lynch, has said that his people didn't want to go on strike, but they've been left with absolutely no option. It seems like the Prime Minister is trying to appeal to the public, apologising for the disruption that's being caused, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be going to the table to speak with the unions and find some sort of solution. So as it stands, it looks like looks like we're going to have a disruption today, another strike on Thursday and also another one on Saturday.
today. The public are being urged by the government to stay the course, but it also looks like the unions are not going to back down either. So this could be a week of widespread disruption across England, Wales and Scotland. Laura, thank you.